In this series of videos, we're going to examine the propagation of variances and its use in geospatial science applications, including surveying and spatial information. So what will we be able to do at the end of this particular topic? Uh, well, you'll be able to use the propagation of variances in a number of scenarios um, to calculate the variance of a single derived quantity um, and multiple derived quantities in both a linear and non-linear sense. So that is when there's a linear relationship between uh, the variables that you are using, the measurements, and when there is a non-linear relationship between your measurements or variables. How are we going to do that? Well, uh, we'll cover that in a second. But first of all, why is it that we would like to be able to understand the propagation of variances? The reason why we need to learn about propagation of variances is to answer questions and solve problems uh, similar to this one here. So in a general sort of surveying problem, uh, we often deal with a starting point here where we have some sort of known coordinates. Uh, we take some measurements, uh, for example, some angles, and we turn those into a bearing, as we can see here, and we measure a distance. Now, that measured or computed bearing has some precision associated with it, the precision of our measurement. Uh, here we have, say, 10 seconds is how precisely we have measured or determined that bearing. And the same goes for our distance. Here we have a precision or standard deviation on our measurement of 20 millimetres. But the question arises, well, that's fine. These are the measurements you took and there are their precisions. And from those measurements, you know how to calculate uh, a new set of coordinates for this unknown point here. It's Eastings and Northings, for example. But how do you calculate the precisions of those Eastings and Northings? What is the standard deviation of the Easting? What is the standard deviation of the Northing? And we would represent those values in a variance-covariance matrix, as is shown just over here. But where did this matrix come from? How did we get this variance-covariance matrix for our Eastings and Northings from this information over here, the bearing distance and the precision of our bearing and distance. So that's what we're going to be covering. And once we know how to use propagation of variances, we will be able to answer that question. So we are going to learn how to use propagation of variances in three different scenarios. Uh, first of all, if we just have one value that we're calculating, so a single derived quantity, and the relationship between the measurements and the quantity are linear. There's a couple of examples here. We'll also examine how to deal with propagation of variances if we have multiple quantities that we are calculating from our measurements. So multiple derived quantities. Again, if the relationship between the measurements and the quantities we're calculating is linear. And finally, the trickiest case of all, how do we work out um, the variance of multiple derived quantities from our measurements if the relationship is non-linear? Because this is what we tend to do more than anything else. So there's some examples there as well. So we will cover each of these in a separate, each of these three topics in a separate video, uh, along with separate example videos as well.